Last week, one night, I was just sitting up at 3 a.m. I was bored. I was kind of looking for something to do. And for some reason, I don't really know why, I was like, yeah, let's go take a look at Nux.js. Why not? One of the very first versions of Insider Viz was actually built with Nux. This was back when Nux 3 was super early in development. It was in beta. There were a bunch of issues with it. We had bugs, some weird internal server error things that were like, yeah, reported to the team. And I'm like, okay, we're not touching this. This is not good. So we went back to Next and the rest is history. But you know, I haven't seen it in many years, so I was like, yeah, let's go give it a shot, why not? And I was completely and utterly blown away by what I found. It's really, really cool, and I think that this is something that, even if you're not interested in Nuxt, and I don't see myself switching over any of my projects or anything, I think it's still worth looking at because the ecosystem they've built is so freaking impressive. So check this out. So right here, I have a nice little example app written in Nuxt. Obviously, this UI is an atrocity. There's no functionality here. That's not the point of this video. The point of this video is to show you guys this little thing down here. Now, Astro had something similar to this. I've seen this before and I was like, oh, OK, so it's probably just some basic stuff. We can hit the reload button or whatever. But when you click on this, you get this entire gigantic built-in set of dev tools. And this is one of the coolest things I've ever seen in a framework ever. I, God, I wish Svelte or Next or anything had anything even close to this. It is so freaking cool. We can see right here, you can go into pages. You can see all the different routes which are re registered. I only have one because this is an example app, but if you could imagine a giant app with 100 pages, it'd be so cool to be able to go in here and see all your different routes, all the different routers. You get a full list of all your components. We have a list of all of our imports. We have a list of all of our modules. And one of the cooler things that you can do in here, I'll show you this in a second, but what you can do is you can set up Tailwind by just going in here, searching up Tailwind. I already have it installed. You click it and it installs. Same thing with like a ton of different packages. Instead of having to go through and do it all through NPM, you can literally go in here if you need to get Google Fonts going. You just do this, you hit install, and now we have Google Fonts in here. This is all built into the dev tools. It is wild what they've built here. And this isn't even the crazy stuff. The asset manager is really nice, but then the stuff that I really liked and the, my favorite parts were one were the server routes. Um, I'll talk about the end-to-end -end type safety of Nux because I didn't think that existed, but that does actually exist. Um, so we have these server routes here where you can see I've defined all my API routes and I can go in here with a full API client and test these out. So my API demo route, I can run this and get a list of all the data that would be, would be pulled out of this. Same thing with this little post request. I can fire it. Give me a success equals true. We fire this again. Like it all just works. And if you can imagine in a real app, it'd be super nice to have this built in right here and just test your backend routes like this. They also have a browser where you can view the live state of the app right here. So you can see the sample data, which we fetch down in the on mount. All of this different stuff is just built into the framework. It is so freaking cool. We also have Drizzle Studio in here, which is another cool thing you can do. So instead of having to open up a new window and all that stuff, I just have Drizzle in here. If I want to add something to my database, let's add like this will be this. Let's say the name is uh, Hello World. We do all that stuff. We save this change. And just like that, if we go back to our API routes, we're going to go over here. We're going to run this one again. We now have a new to do in here. It just works. We have this entire full stack experience is just insane. And this is what I've been talking about when you guys are like, oh, why would you want to use full stack JS? Why would you want to use all these ecosystems? Well, this is why. The fact that we have this full integrated developer experience like this is just amazing. And this isn't even getting into like the code base part of it. The um, One of the things I thought was always a problem with Nuxt was that we just had these API server routes over here where it's like, okay, we have our demo.get or whatever. We send some data down, but this would just be like a normal HTTP handler. So on the front end, when we consume this, we would have to type it. We'd have to do all this stuff. It'd be kind of annoying, but that's not the case at all. If we look at our index.view here, I have this little use fetch call right here, and it's literally getting end-to-end -end type safety. It knows that I'm fetching to API slash demo. If you look right here, the sample data is typed. My demo fetch dot data is typed correctly. All this stuff is in here. It just works. It's really freaking cool. And that's kind of just what I wanted to show off. I'm not going to do a tutorial or anything like this. I, you know, view is awesome. I think it's really cool and it's definitely worth checking out if you want to. It's not what I'm going to be focusing my channel on or what I'm going to be doing, but it's very much worth taking a look at all of the crazy things that full stack JS is capable of.
And that leads me to the sort of second thing I want to talk about in this video is I wanted to show off all that crazy stuff from Vue. I think it is totally worth acknowledging and talking about that. And I hope that puts it in front of people who wouldn't have normally seen it. This is a really, really amazing system that they've built and the team, like it's incredible. But I think a greater point here too is just that we're getting to a point where all of these frameworks, Svelkit, Next.js, Nuxt, all of these different ecosystems, and even Astro, these are all getting so good that there really is, I think at this point it's mostly down to personal preference which one you end up using. I get tons of questions in the Discord, in my comments from just people online being like, okay, which framework do I use? Which one do I want to use? And I'm going to make a dedicated video about this comparing Next.js to Svelkit. And I think the thesis on that is that it really doesn't matter. I think it is totally up to you which one you prefer, and they're both fantastic ways to build stuff. And honestly, I want to go back and I want to try some more stuff in Go too, and I want to see if I can like incorporate it nicely in these things, and I want to go through and build out a full app with like Go, HTMX, Temple, all that stuff, and really just show that these days you can build whatever you want with whatever you want. These are all really fucking good. The ecosystems and frameworks and libraries that we have access to are just fantastic, and the developer experience available in each of these different frameworks is different. It's a different experience in each one, and they all do things slightly differently. But I think the most important thing that you have to answer for yourself is which one do you prefer? Because they all can basically solve the same problems. There are some minor differences here and there. Like I think for me, there's a very compelling use case to not use Next.js and to use Svelkit because there's no virtual DOM and we heavily utilize the D3 library. So dealing with React's bullshit is annoying. I don't want to do it, but... If you're not doing anything like that, you're just building like a UI intensive app or you're building a landing page or you're building out a basic SaaS, build, integrating like a GPT type thing, Next.js would work great. The server component model is fantastic. Or if you want to try out Nuxt, definitely try out Nuxt. There's a really, really great ecosystem that none of us knew about, or at least I didn't know about and no one I see online talking about this stuff has ever talked about. The Vue ecosystem is fantastic too. You can build stuff there very easily just as well. The point is that you can use any technology to build whatever you want. And these have all gotten to a point where they're so damn good that just pick your favorite. Just pick your favorite, man. That's sort of incoherent, but that's what I wanted to talk about. If you enjoyed this, like and subscribe, and I'll talk to you soon.